Good day, folks. Welcome to a Queensland Daily Weather Up. Today, the 28th of November, 2022. My name's Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by our major sponsor, Townsville Sheds and Garages. Check them out at townsvillesheds.com if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Rightio, we've got two lows that are going to form through the week. On Both are probably going to form Wednesday. You can see low up here in the Gulf and a low up here in the uh, central Queensland coastline. The low in central Queensland's coastline is going to push southeastwards off the coast and away to uh, way into the Coral Sea and northern Tasman Sea. The low in the Gulf is going to hit the Western Cape and eventually push eastwards across the Cape York Peninsula region uh, through the weekend and pop off the coast of far north Queensland. More details on that as we get closer to it. Or you can head over to our website at join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. We've got 90 minutes prepared for you today where we study and analyse what those lows are going to have, what sort of effect they're going to have right across Queensland. Head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. Any of these two options here will give you the subscription level that you need for our daily, very in-depth updates. This one here will also give you access to all of our weather graphics. So check that out, and if you'd like to support us, thank you very much. We really do appreciate it. We had a number of storms exiting the coastline this morning. We've got a lots of cloud activity this morning as well across large sections of eastern Queensland. Big storms continuing across the Gulf Country this morning, and we're starting to get early storm development across the Cape York Peninsula region. For this afternoon, we're expecting big rainfall from some of these storms in North Queensland. As I mentioned, we've got a bit of a monsoonal type air mass coming into the low levels of the atmosphere and interacting with an upper level trough. So the combination of the upper level trough in the tropics plus the monsoonal type air mass that's coming in in the low to mid levels of the atmosphere uh, are going to result in some really big rainfall totals with, with scattered showers and thunderstorms. So that's what we're seeing here on the yellow in the chart. Further south in southeast Queensland, some pretty sharp thunderstorms developing around SEQ and the SEQ inland areas this afternoon, this evening. Some isolated to scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across the uh, central coast region as well today. So Mackay's a chance at picking one of those up. Right, as we progress into this evening and tonight, you'll notice that convective activity redevelops on the coastlines again across central and north Queensland this time, not just north Queensland. We see some of that activity in central Queensland. We see significant and heavy rainfall potential with any overnight convection near the Gulf of Carpentaria. And as we progress into tomorrow, once again, a big widespread storm outbreak, but it is starting to clear from inland Queensland. It is pushing more towards the central Queensland coast. Finally, the central Queensland coast overnight tonight and through tomorrow are going to get a taste of some of this action as well. Rainfall between now and when we talk tomorrow, you can see once again significant rainfall around the Gulf, significant rainfall developing around the Cape, uh, lots of showers and thunderstorms across the northern interior, lots of showers and thunderstorms pushing towards the eastern central Queensland coastline, and as I mentioned, some pretty sharp thunderstorms down around southeast Queensland. There are places that will miss out, and you can see there are pockets of the coastline, pockets of the inland areas that just simply can't get this rainfall. It is going to be hit and miss rainfall. Just because it didn't happen in your backyard doesn't mean it didn't happen. Severe weather threat, particularly high just here in southeast Queensland and just inland of the coast in southeast Queensland, pushing towards the coast and also northeast New South Wales. You can see our significant severe weather threat there across the southeast. This is where the storm environment is a little bit more dynamic. The storms further north are going to provide you with flash flooding uh, threats, but the storms down south have uh, multiple potential threats associated with them. Fresh northerly winds down south in southeast Queensland and uh, lighter north to northeasterly winds across much of the rest of the, uh, the eastern part of the state. Just be aware the sea breeze will kick up a bit and also any squall lines associated with showers and thunderstorms. It is going to be a showery, stormy period. So if you are out on the water and you do happen to get caught out in one of those, expect to see some pretty squally conditions coming out of them. Also notice southwesterly winds are beginning to get quite fresh across parts of western Queensland in this drier air mass as it pushes northwards. Uh, tomorrow we are expecting a fairly sharp little southeasterly change, so just be aware of that coming through. That's it from me today. Have a wonderful day. Hope you get a couple of showers and storms to fill up the tanks over the next few days. There's going to be plenty of opportunities. Have a great day, and we'll talk tomorrow.